is more devious than we imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier, a grave threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 <clears throat> hours. 48 hours? That's imminent? <sighs> Uh-oh. Who's your money on this time? Her. You always pick her. Hmm. She's always had him dialed in. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or went down with the ships that carried them. You're preaching to the converted. How converted? I know that look, Kat. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? <laughs> Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple of years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haulout. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. Uh, this is relevant. How? A certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for you, Cat, that's... Inspired? Not the word I would use. What's going on? Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Objective? Destroy Covenant Carrier in geosynchronous orbit above us. This sanction, sir. What do you think? Oh. Method? A slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system? Us. Solvable? Getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. Thank you for sharing. So, all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site in the non-existent Sabre program dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor, and in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. You're scary. You know that. All we need is a green light from Holland. Good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Well, there's no way in hell he's gonna go for this. Facility. Any closer is too hot to land. Copy that, Commander. Move up the beach, Noble. Alright, hello everybody, this is Anj, and today we are back with another Halo Reach. Toying us through Halo, this time through Long Knife Solace, where we actually need to fight really back against that Covenant supercarrier, which brought an unfortunate end to one of our UNSC ships. And Man, that final cutscene of the last mission, which I highly recommend you go watch. It's like, cause you're like, oh, we won a really big battle. We took out that, uh, that shield generator. And then it just seemed to be a cloaking device. It turned out to be a cloaking device to that ship that was so big that the full camera shot couldn't even get it. Couldn't even get it. I don't know. That's, that's like some of the reasons why I love Halo Reach. I think they really show the scale of the Covenant and how much uh, better than the UNSC they are in terms of technology they are at the beginning. And even, like, you can see that the, even the Spartans are like, well, man, this is a whole different feel than we kind of had in the last few missions, and I'm almost dead, oh my gosh. Also, this is one of my favorite, uh, sound trucks in the game. They only play this kind of, like, guitar thing twice, that and when the, uh, here and when the, um, those, I forget what they're called. I literally just recorded the last mission. That's why those red elites, oh my gosh, what are they called? I can't remember. Oh well, but it plays here and then when those red elites took them. Took those guys, so. I really should have appeared more just because I really love the use of guitar in Halo. The electric guitar. And they don't use it too much, which is a shame. Someone keeps pushing me. 
Also, this is the first time, I think since the first mission where we're back with the whole squad. Which is really cool. But yeah, this is actually going to be a really cool mission. One that um, I feel like is both famous and infamous for different reasons. But we'll get to that when we do. But trying to fight up against this, these like hordes of the Covenant trying to get to the Saber base is so cool. And I really do like that cutscene at the beginning. It's like it's not as like grand as like the last cutscene, but you see that those uh, that the uh, UNSC uh, Spartans are like, oh, these guys are like an actual team. It's not just like we just came here, you know. And we've learned that we're a pilot. I do wish we actually got to play that part of the game, but you know, I'm always I'm always up for more prequel stuff in Halo games, and a prequel to Reach is super cool. I'm gonna let these guys go with their weapons just because, you know, I don't need them. Alright, alright. Oh my gosh. I am recording this right after the last mission just so I could remember what's happening. Like, just because that last cutscene hit so hard. And I feel like I want to kind of get that tone across a little bit more than I really would up. And I just kind of want to get Hail Reach finished because the. I'm gonna try to get the How's Halo Reach holdup video out before or on its anniversary. But we'll see how that goes. Cause you know, sometimes these uh, videos take a long time and then the How's This Halo games holdup videos also take a long time within themselves. I'm gonna take the shotgun just cause you know, it's nice. And I'm gonna take this. I'm actually gonna take the sword. Get to the before the That's funny, he just kicked him. Yeah. This is also a multiplayer map, by the way, but you don't really say it too much in this mission. Right, and yeah, we actually get to fly by these ships, which is so cool. Like, we're just overreached. These are like the ship repair sites that you read in like the Fall of Reach. And man, this is also one of the reasons why I love Halo Reach. You get to drive a saber out of atmosphere. Alright, where's Anchor 9? It's one of these things, I think. But yeah, this is like the first time we're in space, and you get to actually fly a ship, and it's just so cool, and I don't know where to go, and I'm scared to, I'm scared to like crash. Oh. Okay, we don't, we don't do anything yet. But man, you know I love skyboxes, but imagine a space box where you can look down and see Reach. And it just looks so cool, and then you even you can even see planets. <sighs> okay, we gotta defend Anchor 9. Once again, 
defense doesn't really matter. But this is actually kind of an infamous level because this section can be so difficult on harder difficulties because there's so much attacking you. It's hard to hide. There are places where you can hide, but man, it's annoying. I gotta say, this probably took me the most time in my last run. And unless so, if you die, you have to start over the mission, but there are some workarounds to that. But I was so scared during the entire time that I was gonna mess up the little trick and I have to replay this whole mission again. But thankfully that did not happen. It's now behind me. And now I can enjoy this mission for what it is. And yeah, the ship controls are pretty easy. You know, you just fire it up, shoot. Like you would regularly, regularly. And they actually did something that a lot of space shooters do nowadays where they have a little circle where you should hit to kind of line up your shots, which is nice. Anchor Niner, UNSC ships. And you can even do cool uh, moves. You can do barrel rolls. Oh yeah, this is a hard part of the mission, but you can hide kind of behind the, uh, uh, the anchor. Oh, oh yeah, and you can switch the missiles by pressing the switch missile button. Switch missile button. Oh yeah, you even see seraphs, like you hear about them in books, but now it's like we got them. Also, the, these kind of work similarly to how they do the missiles the uh, Warhog, Rocket Hogs do. But you can also see in the top left of the uh, HUD, you can see your missile slot, or you can see like, your whole integrity. And the whole integrity is kind of like your health, but thankfully it kind of respawns. So it isn't that big of a deal if you lose your shields. But once again, those hard difficulties, you can get you can kind of just be like melted through. So you can look out. So if you're doing this in like normal, don't worry about it. Just have fun. You know. But yeah. And would you believe it if I told you that Destiny of the Game Bungie did after this did not have any space sections despite you even getting to have your own ship? <sighs> I don't play Destiny anymore, though I've kind of been wanting to. But it's just so weird how you don't, you can't fly your own ship, especially when they did this. They did this mission a game before. Like, you would almost, like, it kind of feels like Halo Reach is kind of like the, uh, the testing grounds for a lot of stuff you would find in Destiny. Like, the armor abilities are kind of like the abilities you get as your different character classes. I don't know. I mean, obviously you want to reuse stuff that you kind of did in games, but it just really did feel like that. That's kind of why Reach was a little bit more different than the past previous Halo games would be. But, you know, I guess we can't have everything fun. I don't know. I'd love to see this bungee go back and maybe make the space seconds even better just because it can kind of get kind of samey as you can see and we're dead. Okay. You also have this cool animation when you die where you just, you know, turn a lot and then you're just falling in space. Oh, also the checkpoints are kind of bad in this mission. So maybe on the lookout to not die like me. Oh, the station defenses are also up, which is nice. So. You know, they'll help you out. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna actually r run behind this to hopefully survive. This is where I died on the last one runs, because the a lot of the enemies are more on the other side. But yeah, there's also space banshees, which are kind of weird. Yeah, you can see over here. I don't know. They're just banshees you can shoot in space, but mostly you kind of want to take out the seraphs. Just because those are the bigger deals, but taking a banshee out every once in a while can be really nice, especially when you are getting just mowed down a lot and you just want to not die. Uh, maybe there's only banshees here right now. Goodness, there's like no seraphs. I don't know how far back I am, also. Also, have your squad talking like it's Star Fox, or they're like, get this guy off me, Fox. But I don't think they'll necessarily die. I don't know. Uh, where are the dudes? Okay, there are just like a ton of things. Oh, there's a Seraph. Uh, where are you? Saber teams 
Those phantoms are inbound on Vector 7, Mark 49. Okay, we got some phantoms. Also, if you're wondering if you can use this in Forge, and for MCC, they actually pour it over the Seraph, so you can just spawn in Forge, which is really cool. Because it wasn't done before. There's also a lot of stuff you can do in Forge now that you couldn't with MCC. Oh my gosh. Watch out for the, watch out for the Phantoms. They will just destroy you, as you can see. Also, you gotta kind of wait for your whole integrity to kind of come back a little bit, and everything else will come in. Oh my gosh. There's so much. Sorry if I'm not going to be talking a lot in this part of the mission. You may just get a lot of cuts. Because also, when I die, I don't know how far back I'm going to be, necessarily, until like I see a phantom. Come on. Yeah, this part of the mission, you are going to need to take out the phantoms a lot, just because, you know, they're the main things. Oh my gosh. These space phantoms are really hard. Was, was I shooting them? Oh my gosh. Also, the fans do have a lot of uh, health, I guess. Because, man, oh my gosh. Oh, please let me... Please, please. And you can run into the, the uh, anchor. I don't think I did that there. I think I just got shot down. So, be careful about that. Oh my gosh, I finally made it back. I'm not gonna lie to you. This has taken way too long. So hopefully we will survive and we can take out some good old phantoms. So yeah, make sure you take out a lot of the banshees because they will be the guys kind of attacking you. So whenever you can, it'll be good to take them out. Okay. So yeah, we gotta take out all these phantoms to get past this part of the mission. But of course, there's a lot of ton of guys who are gonna really hurt you. Uh, I think you may have to use the missiles first. I can't, I don't know. Oh no, oh no. Also, you kinda wanna stay away from the, uh, the phantoms just cause they do a ton of damage. And also utilize your like maneuvers whenever you can, just cause that will really help you. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die again. Goodness gracious. But yeah, you gotta be careful. Cause like, this is a part of the mission that I think is hard because it's really different from all the other Halo missions in terms of where you're kind of safe. Cause you're not, there's like not a lot of places where you're like, oh, I could stay here and be super safe. Like you have infinite ammo. So that's like something that's different than uh, other stuff. That's like different than the other games or the other parts where you have trouble. But you also have like nowhere like a lot of the other games, the people you're killing are the people who are you are gonna be who are gonna be shooting you. But here, for a lot of them, like the Phantoms or the Saris, I guess, because that makes more sense. You're like chasing them. So, oh my gosh, please, please move. You know, like the Phantoms kind of similar because they're attacking you while you're dying. But it's like you're dying. You're like, oh, I took out a uh, Seraph, but then there's like five Banshees behind you. Are doing way more damage. Oh no. Also, there's a lot of chatter in the, in the whatever. So if you don't like chatter, you're gonna get a lot of that here. But yeah, so this will be a longer video. Which is funny because the other videos have been like 30 minutes. Even the last video, I think it should be shorter video time wise. But that was like exactly like 30 minutes, at least for my video length. So it's funny. But this will kind of even it out. Which is kind of good, because, though I do think 20 minutes is like the sweet spot for these type of missions. At least in video length. But ODST was a little bit of a shorter game, so it's kind of nice to be back to 30 minute episodes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, fill up the fans with missiles. They don't necessarily tell you to do that, but you know. It'll be nice to do, and thank goodness we got a checkpoint. Okay, the enemy seemed to have kind of stopped because all oh, the firing stopped. Where are you guys? Sh oh, there, there's a, there's like one Seraph over here. Oh, there, they left. We're good. I think this is the last part of this section, which will be nice.
I'm out here, Six. Warning. M-Spec re-entry pack disengaged. I need your override. Warning. M-Spec re-entry Cockpit depressurization complete. Canopy release lever armed. Repeat. Pull up surface grid 19 by 22. Gladly. Only sword base. Sector 18G. Thermal enhance. Noble 5, your pulse is elevated. There is nothing you can do for Dr. Halsey and the others inside sword base. The mathematics are determinate. Noble 5? I know. Bravo, United is clear to re-engage thrusters. Noble 6, this is Holland. Go ahead, Colonel. We've flagged a Corvette-class vessel on a predicted docking track with our target. Get our makeshift bomb on that Corvette, and we have our delivery system. Noble 5 will escort the bomb. I need your Sabre team to clear the way for boarding. Understood, Colonel. As she's already donated her slip space drive to the cause, Savannah will be joining you to provide local fire support. UNSC Savannah, our wings may be clipped, but we've got your back. I've stuck my neck out for Noble on this one, Lieutenant. We'll get it done, Colonel. Six out. Target Corvette sighted within visual range of Map Beacon RA-15. We have visual. Target confirmed. Right, and now we're on another section to try to take over this Corvette, which is actually really interesting because that's something. Oh, they're going down. They're going down to the surface. But it's interesting that uh, we're doing this because in the book Fall of Reach, oh gosh, if you go under there fast, you can take out all these banshees before they actually lift off, which is kind of a shame. But it's the stealing a Corvette or a Covenant ship and then to do something with it is actually something they were going to do in the fall of reach before they actually realized reach was going to fall the plan was to have like a team of like master chief and i suppose like basically think a blue team but some of the characters might have been different maybe been like joshua or something instead of or james instead of fred but they're going to steal corvette go to the Covenant home world or like home base, so think like high charity, and then steal the prophet, or like I asked one of them, like take him hostage to kinda do a truth, like force a truth, a truce? I don't know why I was trying to say truth. Maybe cause that's what the prophet's name is. Would that have worked? Probably not. But you know, that would have been interesting, but of course the fall of reach happened, so that couldn't actually happen but yeah we gotta take out the engines so just use missiles it's pretty easy just kind of hang back when you take a lot of fire uh, i don't think that's gonna hit oh it did hit nice i think you can also just shoot yeah you can just shoot if you need to do it super quickly oh please also i looked up what the uh that um elite was before <laughs> Uh, during the cutscenes. Hey, I actually got all the engines done. But I liked what the elite name was called that was in the first mission. But it was Zealot. I don't know why I can't remember. I couldn't remember that. Because Zealot's like the one that I know. I, can't, I keep thinking like specialists. For some reason. Oh, let's take out the Seraph. But man, like look at Reach. You can even see where it's getting attacked. Like look how different this is. Oh, we're about to die. Okay, we gotta kill everything before they go tell the carrier that we're about to- Oh, we're dead. Okay. Mission complete. Okay, we just spawned to die. I'm gonna try to not die immediately, cause then that'll push us back, uh... Push us back, uh, checkpoint. If you keep dying in a row. Which can be nice if you're, like, on lasso and you're like, I'm just stuck here. Or it wouldn't even work on lasso. If you're on, uh, I guess, 
uh, legendary or something, and you're like, this just sucks. But usually it can be kind of bad, especially if you're on this type of mission where it's like, oh, I don't want to be here for any longer than I do. This is actually the last part of the space section after we do this, so it's nice while it lasted. Well, on hard difficulties, like even heroic, I have issues with it just because it's like, man, you can die so easily. And there are enemies like everywhere with no places to hide. Oh my gosh. Like, look at that. We just lost like all our shields. But yeah. Also, you can tell this is like a long mission because we're not even like halfway through it yet. But we'll see. I think this next part of the mission will be cool. Also, you can even see like the Covenant Super Fairy over there. Like, how cool is that? Oh. I love this game. I say as I'm gonna die. And the horse you flew in on. And yeah, this is actually really cool because you're in space. Like, look. Uh oh. Oh, that guy did not. He did not get really far. But yeah, like, look. See, there's like no gravity here, so you fly a lot. You can't hear anything. It's like all really cool. Uh, please die. Oh no. But these guys have jetpacks so they can get back out. Yeah, this is also another part of the mission. Or another. Uh, what's it called? I had the name for it. Another multiplayer map. And this is actually a remake of, like, Midship, I believe, or at least, like, a reimagining. They've remade Midship a lot, or at least have had, like, similar. But it's, like, weird, because it's, like, what came first? The, I guess Mitch. I guess they're, like, we'll use this as, like, Midship or whatever. And obviously it's, like, a little bit different than Midship, but, you know. It's kind of similar. I don't know. But it's kind of cool to be inside another uh, Covenant cruiser. Especially since you're not really... I think the last time we've really been in like a Covenant thing was... Um, Halo 2 with a high charity. I guess uh, Halo 3 with like Cortana. You're, you're technically in high charity, though it's much different. And... Yeah, no. It's much different. And it's like floodified. And here we actually see another newish enemy. Uh, you can tell because of those shields, but there is an engineer. And unlike Halo 3 ODST, it, you kind of want to kill him. You just got to blow him up. So I, I always feel bad about doing it. But they give the enemies like really good energy shields, even the grunts. So, taking them out is probably going to be your best interest. And, like, the shields even, like, respawn, so even if you do get down the shields, you're just going to be wasting a lot of ammo. It's not worth it. And I think you even have to take them down to complete the mission. Oh my gosh. Please let me live. Oh no. Also, there's parts of this mission that, like, this part of the mission can be really bad unless I... <laughs> this is why I just, like, got stuck on this mission. Because there's, like, so many parts where it's like, oh, I'm going to take, like, four hours. Oh, that Marine just killed me. Did you see that? It, it was in slow motion, so it probably was difficult to tell. But, you know, I should use this a little bit more. And I need to. Oh. Oh. Also, I really like this part of the mission because you can get just see guys, like, flying. What are you guys doing over there? Oh, you have a beam rifle. Oh. Oh, of course we're out of ammo. Oh. But, like, grenade throws don't... I think they'll probably, like, hang in the air a little bit longer, but you shouldn't really worry about it too much. I'll take the repeater. This is a good time to see a lot of the Covenant, uh, weapons that you don't really see just because you're on a Covenant ship. Uh, we'll keep the repeater for a while. Like, look at this guy. You just... Okay. Whoa. Oh, no, please. Please let me live. Okay. See, this is like where jumping is bad. See, you can even get up there. I'll take the... I'll take the... What's this called? Focus rifle? Uh-oh. They turned off. They, like, 
activated the gravity and the atmosphere, so no more jumping cool. It was fun while it lasted. But we get to hear the cool drums. He's aboard, Colonel. Copy that. Six, get your fire team to the bridge. The Corvette's refueling run with the supercarrier will have to be initiated manually. Yes, sir. Five, stay with the bomb and discourage the curious. My pleasure. Hear that, Lieutenant? I'll be all by my lonesome back here. Make it quick, would you? Right, and six. Oh, Get what's here? Moving toward the super carrier. Head I don't the think bridge. that's Find the nav controls. And yeah, so George is on here, but he's gonna stay back here. And I can't remember if I've really talked about it, but first of all, I really like George's armor. But George is actually different than all the rest of the Spartans that we see on Noble Team. Unlike all the rest who are Noble th who are Spartan threes, which are after Spartan twos, where Master Chief is a Spartan two, George is actually a Spartan two, so he's a part of that like I don't know if he's like original group, or original group, because there may be two different like sets of Spartan twos, but he was taken as a child while all of Noble three was kind of picked out as adults, I believe. Though I could be wrong about that. Also, this is a part where. Oh, here is the assassinations I was talking about a few missions ago. Yeah, just hold down, uh, hold down the melee button, and it'll happen. Can you hear me? But yeah, so George is really cool. He, that's why he kind of called uh, Halsey Ma'am, though it sounded like Mom, to where for forever I thought his name, I thought uh, Halsey was George's mother. But yeah, also this is a really cool thing of Reach. I think it's so sweet. Hello. You're getting assassinated. Also, swords can do cool assassinations, but I think it's only with elites, and sometimes it doesn't work. So, be careful about that. But yeah, so I thought George was uh, Halsey's son, just because it sounded like when he said ma'am, he said it sounded like mom. But, and of course I didn't have subtitles, because who reads? But yeah, he just has a really high respect, because all those Spartan 2s really do. Because that's what they do with Dr. Halsey. It, it kind of is like their mom, I guess, in a way. If you think about it. Oh, these, there's like invisible guys. See, this is why I don't really like the beam rifle. Or the focus rifle. It takes like too long for them to make any good kills. Oh, goodness. Oh, all are... Oh, you actually have a good weapon. Okay, that was a bad time to get out. Ugh. Regen my health, regen my health before it goes away. Okay, we're gonna have to run. Oh no. But yeah, so George is really cool, that's why he's different. I feel like I've accidentally called him Noble uh, 2 before, but that's just because I get mixed up with the uh, uh, Spartan 2s. But he's Noble 5, so he's actually right before uh, us. I guess in terms of rank. So I don't know if that's necessarily rank. But yeah. So, you know. Okay, I think we they just kicked a box at us to kill us. And this is also an interesting part of the mission because you can just like stay right here and then kill everybody by like moving boxes. But that's no fun, you know? And also that takes a lot of time to do. Also, I love this whole eat. Like, how cool it is. Oh no. Okay, I thought I could get him. Okay, that's a, this is bad. Okay, he's died. Can I at least get one kill before I die? No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we got a checkpoint for some reason. Maybe some of our elites or marines would be good. Oh, please die. Focus rifle, please do something. Also, the focus rifle does have like a burnout, whatever, like some of the other plasma weapons do. So that's also why I don't really like it. Oh, it did kill. I don't know. I think it's like it's like not as good as like a sniper rifle would be, in my opinion. 
I feel like it takes too much to like be really good. Cause you gotta be patient. You can't just keep endlessly firing. Uh, invisible. These invisible guys are so hard to see. Sometimes for me. Yeah, like look, like a reach. I think this is so cool. You see, they're like planning out what they're gonna do. Oh, this is why. You'll hear me love and hate Hell Reach. Mostly hate for being really annoyed by how bad I am at this game. Alright. Also, I really hate these things. It was how we opened the the uh, airlock. But, like, just make it this. Why do you have to make it some random thing? Just put the little beeper right here. I don't know. It's, like, so annoying to me. Because it's like, oh, we tacked it on. We made the art, but we couldn't attach the art to do something cool. We had to make it lame. Oh, I thought it was going to be closer. I don't know. That's like one of the things I really dislike about this mission. And I forget about it until it's we get to it every single time. But it's like, oh. It's like, you wouldn't have gained... I don't think you would have gained anything from making it that little, like, uh, hologram thing. But making it like a little button is so weird, even if the button makes sense. Uh, also, this part of the mission is going really smoothly compared to the beginning part of the mission. But that's usually how this stuff goes. Please hide, please hide, please hide. Uh, oh no, 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 no. How? How did I die before that guy? I feel like I lost my shield after him. You know, at least we still got Sergeant Bird. We haven't lost everything yet. Alright, George. Also, I feel like this guy lost a rank. In the cut in the Oh no 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 in the uh checkpoint. Uh I'm gonna grab a needler. Actually I think the needler works well. I don't know, the plasma the plasma's kinda weird. I like inhale one a lot, but after this after that, it's like it's a little bad. And there's a lot of enemies in this room, and you see George, he's being super cool. Also, George has his own uh, turret, which in Hail 5, it was actually a... Uh, they gave it as their own, like, thing. But they gave kind of, like, that for everything in Hail 5. We lost Bird, but we got Ellis. So, you know. Oh, please stop. I'm going to try to show something. If you go right here, and I think if you hold down uh, the like use button, so like X in my case, you can actually, we'll see if this works. If not, it's not a big deal. Okay, because I don't really remember how to do it. But you can get into the turret, kind of. It's like kind of uh, weird and like glitched. But you can use the turret, so it's good for last out. But I guess it's probably better that I'm showing this like the real way, you know? Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I picked up the shield. Like, this shield isn't my favorite thing in the world, but, you know, it gets the job done. I'm clear. Okay, but, like, man, I really do love George's armor, though. I think they have such a good color scheme. Was it this? I don't know. Okay, I don't know how to do it. I'm lame. It's been two years since I've done, like, and they could have patched it, I guess. But that that would have been done for MCC. For OG Reach, it would have made more sense to patch. Ah, oh, please die. Oh, we're at ammo. Great. I guess I'll switch now. <laughs> like, oh, like, look at George. I feel like he has such a good armor set. So cool. Well, yeah, we just gotta clear out this covenant, then we can send this thing and automatically blow it up and blow up that super carrier that blew up the... I can't remember the name. Of that other ship. Also, there is, like, ammo over here that you can just get. I think it's over here, yeah. I picked it up earlier. But it's nice. Uh, I'll take the pistol. I really do like the pistol in this game. It, it's like, it's not as powerful as, uh, Halo CEs, obviously. And it's, I feel like, a, like if you, I were to place it, I, if I had like a tier list for Halo Reach weapons, I'd place it below the DMR. But it's still like so much better than any of the Magnums we've had for the past few games. I feel like it does a lot of good stuff rather than the Halo 2 and Halo Reach, or Halo 3. I feel like Halo 3 was the worst, but Halo 2 like, kind of served a very different purpose, but I just don't care for that purpose as much as I do for this one, if you know what I'm saying, but 
pair it with the DMR. It can really work wonders, and we're gonna place that down there. That's just how we can do this. Hello. Oh, that guy just like barely dodged it. You're not gonna dodge that. Oh no. How'd you? Okay, they survived that. They can survive those on heroic, I guess. So I'll be on the lookout. I should probably just use my pistol. Is that all the enemies that they're gonna throw against? Like, put put the button here. Like, come on. How lame. Oh, this is like a part of the firefight missions, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of elites. But yeah, even though they're right close to the bomb where they can like disable it, it's not gonna matter because it's just gonna kill me. I probably should have stayed up there. Oh well. See, these guys are dual wielding. We can't dual wield. The Covenant law, or we lost with the Covenant game, I guess. Because I actually don't. I guess the elites could technically dual wield. And not uh, Hail 3. I don't know. It is so weird though. Because, like, why don't we have that option to uh, use that weapon as a dual wield? Hey, we killed that guy like that. That's cool. I'll throw this down. Like, you'll see defend. Like, we're not defending anything. I don't know. I feel like hold out probably would have been a better. Oh, there goes George. Except he's gonna survive. Because George can't die. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, elites. You guys should all be aiming for me, because I'm the only noble team member who can die in this mission. Oh. Uh, I'll switch to this, just because I can also do good old blowing up. But you'll notice that elite who's up there, his radar was actually a little triangle, and that shows that they are above you, which is really cool. And if they're below, it's kind of like, uh, faded out. In case you're wondering. Hey, Alice survived. Good job, man. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day, and goodbye! Distance is closing on this vessel's refueling track with the Covenant supercarrier. 76 seconds to end it. So, it's gonna be like that. Well, I've got good news and bad news. This bird took some fire and a thruster gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Bad news is, time is fried. I'm gonna have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. We all make it sooner or later. Better get going, Six. They're gonna need you down there. Listen, Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. Don't deny me this. Tell him to make it count. Slip space rupture detected. Yeah, we're picking up anomalies too. Are you reading this? Slip space rupture detected. Multiple covenant signals. Slip space rupture detected. Is anyone losing? They're everywhere. Slip space rupture detected. Slip space rupture detected. Sl